Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what's the difference between actual and constructive possession in Florida? Actual possession occurs when you are aware of the presence of an item, because either one, the item is in your hand or it's somewhere on your person. Two, the item is in a container which is in your hand or on your person. Or three, the item is so close to you as to be within ready reach and it is under your control. So, if I'm going to break the rule of not defining a word by using the word itself, actual possession would occur where you are actually in possession of the item in question. For example, I am in actual possession of this roll of correction tape. But not all possession is actual, and when it isn't, the state may have a proof problem. There's a thing called constructive possession, and constructive possession occurs when an item is not in your hand and is not on your person. Instead, one, wherever the item is, you're aware of its presence. Two, the item must be in a place over which you have control. And three, you must have the ability, even if you're not presently exercising that ability, to gain control of the item if you choose to do so. Being close to an item is not enough to prove constructive possession. To be in constructive possession, the state's going to have to prove that you knew it was there, you had control over it, and you could have exercised that control if you chose to do so. So if that roll of correction tape is sitting on the table in front of me, then I might be in constructive possession of it. Constructive possession is definitely not cut and dry, and a skilled and experienced criminal defense lawyer may well be able to poke holes in the state's case. I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.